How to draw a grandfather clock. We're going to start off by drawing a rectangle near the bottom of our page. Inside of this rectangle, we are going to draw a swinging pendulum. We're going to start at the top of the rectangle and make two diagonal lines going downwards. Then at the bottom, we're going to draw a circle. Next, we're going to draw a bigger rectangle around the one that we just drew. We're going to leave a little space at the bottom that isn't connected. Next, we're going to make the base of our grandfather clock. We'll start on the left side. At the bottom of the rectangle, we're going to make a curved line going downwards, and then we'll make a straight line going towards the right. At the end of that foot, we're going to make a small line going upwards, but don't connect it to the rectangle above. Then we will make the right side of the base the same way that we drew the left side. For the last part of the base, we're going to draw a straight line going across, connecting each side. Wow, learn how to draw hub crew! Our drawings are looking great! I can't wait to see what yours looks like when we're all finished! Now we're going to move on to the top part of our grandfather clock. At the top right corner of the rectangle we drew earlier, we're going to make a small curved line with the hump going towards the outside of our page. Then we are going to do the same thing on the left side. Then on each side, we're going to draw a straight line going upwards from that curve. At the top of each line, we're going to draw a small spiral shape. To do this, we'll start on the outside of the line that we drew, and we'll draw a small curved line going inwards to the inside of the line. Then we are going to draw a straight line going across with a space in the middle. Great job! Then in this space, we're going to draw a small curved line going upwards on either side with little bumps going across to connect the two curved lines. Great job! Now for the face of our clock, we're going to draw a big circle in the middle of that open square. Then we're going to draw another circle outlining the one that we just drew. And if you drew your first circle as big as you could, then you could draw the second circle inside of that one. Then in the center of that circle, we're going to draw a little circle. 
Next, we're going to make the hands of our clock coming from that small circle that we drew. To make each hand, we're going to draw a V-like shape coming from that circle, and then we'll connect the two sides coming to a point as well, so it almost looks like a diamond shape. You can draw your hands on your clock wherever you would like so that you can make it what time you want it to be. Now we're going to draw the second hand on our clock. Make sure that one of your hands is longer than the other one because the long hand is the minute hand and the short hand is the hour hand. Next, we're going to draw the numbers on our clock. I'm only going to draw the 12, 3, 6, and 9, and also I'm going to use Roman numerals, but you can use those or you could use regular numbers. If you're using Roman numerals, the 12 is an X with two lines after it. The 3 is just three lines straight up and down, and if you want, you can draw a line on the top and bottom connecting them. A six is an X with a line. And a nine is an X with a line before it. Lastly, we're going to add a few lines for detail in the rectangle that we drew at the very beginning with the pendulum in it. Thanks for watching Learn How to Draw Hub. I'm sure your drawings came out awesome. I can't wait to see them, so share on Instagram by using hashtag LearnHowToDrawHub. If you want to see our grandfather clock all colored in, then stick around until the very end. Also, if this video helped you out, then make sure to give it a big like below. See you next time! Hey Learn How to Draw Hub crew! If you like videos like this one, then we highly recommend that you consider hitting the subscribe button so that we can keep you updated on videos like this every single day.